It is a staggering number. Hundreds of people died by suicide in Clark County over the past five years. During the pandemic, the number especially high for teens, alarming both parents and experts. And now it's teens who want to get the message out. There's help. Joshua Piguero explains. Luca Fang, a junior at Coronado High School, is leading an effort to highlight teen mental health by organizing a rainbow run. We're trying to address the vulnerability aspect of mental health and talking about it. Um, as, so as participants run along the route, they'll be able to answer questions prompted along the route, such as, who do you love? Suicide is the second leading cause of teen deaths in the Silver State. That's really the worst message you can tell someone is that they're not feeling those feelings and they should just change how they're feeling right away. In 2018, 22 of those who died by suicide were under the age of 20. The following year, it decreased, but then during the pandemic, the number spiked to 27. Since then, youth suicides in Clark County have gone down slightly. The total number of all suicides in 2022 was 484, and the gun was the cause of death in more than half of the suicides since 2018. If you are going through a mental health crisis, know that there are several organizations in the Las Vegas Valley that could help you. One of them is right behind us. It's the National Alliance of Mental Illness. The Coronado Hope Squad students engage in peer-to-peer -peer mentoring and it's been an eye-opening experience for them. Feeling really disconnected, you're supposed to feel safe at home and they really weren't, so it's like, if I can't feel safe at school and I can't feel safe at home, what am I supposed to do? So they were feeling really helpless. The walk will take place on Saturday, April 1st around Cornerstone Park in Henderson. Joshua Piguero, 8 News Now. If you're struggling with a mental health crisis, please call or text the Suicide and Crisis Hotline at 988. Also tonight at the Las Vegas City Hall, there will be a town hall on suicide prevention that begins at 530 this evening.